disaster. Harry harshly condemned Farood Manor while doing royal tour, don't behave like this. Prince Harry was filmed reacting with disdain at Sky News royal correspondent Rhiannon Mills asking him a question during his tour of South Africa. Prince Harry began to show signs of being fed up with the British media during his tour with Meghan Markle to South Africa in the autumn of 2019, royal experts suggested. Sky News royal correspondent Rhiannon Mills admitted she realized she had kicked the wasp's nest after the Duke of Sussex brusquely hit back at her as she tried to ask a question about his work during a stop to Malawi. Footage shown in the BBC documentary The Princes and the Press, Prince Harry could be seen first ignoring Ms Mills as she questioned him before slamming, don't behave like this. The Sky News royal correspondent said while doorstepping members of the royal family is usually a no-no she had done in the past with quite positive results. She said, he doesn't stop and give me a full interview but he acknowledges me or whatever. This one played out quite differently. Footage of her confrontation with the Duke of Sussex was then played, showing she had approached Prince Harry at the end of a meeting to ask what do you hope to achieve through this. The Duke could be seen first heading straight for his car before turning back towards Ms Mills as she asked him twice about his goals. He first laughingly said, what? Ask them. But as Ms Mills asked again about the importance of talking to local communities, Prince Harry turned with a cross look on his face to say, don't behave like this. The Sky News presenter said, most people looked at it and thought, well, hang on, it was a polite question. Why did it blow up? But looking back at it now, I had basically kicked the wasp's nest. Many people have criticized Harry's attitude towards journalists. One critic said, just because he's a prince doesn't exclude him from manners. His response was rude and considering he had been in a meeting to reply how he did I don't know, ask them. Wasn't that dismissing anything that had been discussed as unimportant to him? One critic commented, the thing to remember is when the royals are on tour, they are working, it is not a private holiday. They have to behave, meet the press and go through all the motions, otherwise it is an insult to the host country and the UK. This couple took it as a holiday with some appearances thrown in. Prince Harry hates being negation photographed as he says it triggers painful memories of his late negation mother Diana. He believes the world's most negation photographed woman was killed by the paparazzi, so each lens pointed in his negation direction is the worst reminder of her life. Every single time I see a camera, every single time I hear a click, every single time I hear a flash, it takes me straight back, he said in 2019. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced shortly after their return from South Africa they would take a six-week break to spend time with their son Archie. A documentary about their experience on the tour aired a few weeks later, and showed the first cracks in the couple's relationship with the royal family. ITV reporter Tom Bradby, a close friend of the royal, was granted exclusive access to the couple and was the first to discuss with the Duchess of Sussex the struggle she had been facing of the pressure of royal life. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex returned to the United Kingdom in January 2020 and underwent a series of engagements, including a visit to Canada House in London, before announcing their plans to step down from the royal roles. Prince Harry and Meghan agreed to a one-year trial period away from the royal family following a tense summit at Sandringham in the presence of the Queen, Prince Charles, and Prince William. The couple carried out a final round of engagements in March 2020 culminating with a joint outing alongside Her Majesty on Commonwealth Day before reuniting with their son in North America. Day before e